Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It's Tony from Safe Haven. And before I begin, just click that like, subscribe. Click the bell for the notifications. And share this video with, say, I don't know, one or two people, right? Um, today, something that's been on my mind, personally is that we can't look to anybody to heal us. Um, and the reality is, is that especially when you are uh, a victim of narc abuse, you become really damaged, right? Your trust gets damaged. Your zest for life gets damaged. Your interest in rekindling whatever relationships get damaged. And I found that even myself, just personally, sometimes I've looked to other people to try to fill that void or fix that void. What I mean by that is, you know, you start throwing yourself into other relationships or you throw yourself into, um, you know, just running around with, you know, nothing wrong with reconnecting with old friends, but all of a sudden, you know, that, that, that becomes... A majority of your time and I think a lot of us get kind of trapped in these relationships with narcs because we instinctively are looking for them to heal us just as we're looking as they are looking for us to heal them right uh, narcs again use us for reaction and resources they use us for supply um, but deep down, the reason why they're so driven is that they're fundamentally broken. Um, I, I don't know if broken is the right word, but they are fundamentally bent on using other people. And they're fundamentally broken on looking towards other people as the cure for their ills and as a cure for their deep uh, sense of lack and sense of not having enough, right? It doesn't matter how pretty they are. It doesn't matter how strong they are, how muscular, how handsome they are, whatever. Deep down, they feel that they're unworthy and they feel like they have to put on an, uh, a show to get other people to show them that, yes, you are worthy, right? It's a major addiction, right? And, um, what happens is we too are looking for some kind of approval and with some kind of healing. And a lot of times we wind up attracting these types of individuals into our personal orbit because we're looking for that validation. We're looking for that purpose. We're looking for that, um, how can I say it? It's a really nice, loud motorbike that went past. So what I mean by that is, uh, you know, we, we, we tend to attract these individuals readily and we let them into the deep recesses of our hearts, minds, and lives because we're looking for a project. We're looking for someone to fill us up. And especially when we're not completely healed up or completely, when we're not understanding of where we are as individuals well guess what there it's easy for them to come in and say hey you know i'm going to give you purpose i'm going to give you validation i'm going to give you what you're looking for somewhere from 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 that you should get from yourself i'm going to give it to you and we wind up becoming addicted to them in a way and then they start doing push pull or they start doing devalue the discard or you know love bombing and all this other stuff and we're just we're just left out there on the lurch like oh my god what's happening so now we're fine we're spending hours browsing youtube or on facebook communities and talking about like wow my narc ex did this my next did that they they um i didn't, I didn't feel like you know i don't feel like i have a purpose without them etc and i i felt that way too for for a while when my next left and um 
you know, in fact, I struggled with that because I was like, well, my purpose is to be her man and to support her dreams and to be there for her and all this other stuff. And come to find out that wasn't the case. The, per the, the validation of purpose had to come from within me. And what I'm starting to see now is that as I get older and as I go through life, I'm like, man, I don't want to attract any more broken people. But the reason why I may be attracting broken people is I myself am broken. So what do I need to work on to heal up? So this way I am no longer a right target for broken individuals. So <clears throat> that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, again, understand, especially Hollywood, um, a lot of romance novels, you know, things like that. Uh, it, it makes us feel, it, the message is you need someone to complete you. And the truth is you don't, right? Having a person in your life is a great thing. It adds value to your life. However, you don't need someone in your life. You don't need, you don't need that, um, that validation to come from an external source. And what I'm learning for myself is that it's totally okay to give yourself that validation. Be aware of how and why you got tied up with a narc. Because you were looking for validation, you were looking for that love, you were looking for whatever it was. Maybe you're comfortable in that, maybe you're a product of a bad, you know, narcissistic parent or whatever. So you're used to having to jump through hoops of fire to get what you need to get. Like, maybe, I don't know. But the reality is, is that you're now here at a party of life, you've been given a second chance. Uh, you are now able to get your life together in a way in which you can build your own validation. You can heal yourself. You can do the research, do the work, work with a therapist, read books, do whatever you have to do to get to that part where you are healthy. Okay? And once you do that, I promise you, the quality of people that come around you does increase or the value does increase and you will be less willing to lower your standards to let any old body into your private garden you will be reluctant or you'll be hesitant or you'll be you will object to letting people come in and just destroy your boundaries and push your push your uh, buttons and you know, try to tell you what to do. Like you will put those walls up and say no, no, and no. And you'll feel good about it. But at the end of the day, um, you can't expect anybody to heal you. You can't expect having someone in your life will heal you. <laughs> having someone in your life will definitely break you down, but it won't heal you up. Um, and that's a lesson I had to learn for myself. And you can't look to be the healing for another person either. I think I think that's more what I'm trying to say here, right? When I do these videos, I don't, I generally don't script them. I, I put down notes what I want to talk about, but sometimes I just go into like a video essay. But I think for us, especially for us empaths or recovering narc abuse victims, uh, you know, it's. It's honorable to say, oh, I want to heal somebody. I want to be the reason that someone is getting their stuff together. But the reality is, number one, you you can't. You can only live your life the best way you can. You can inspire someone, but you can't motivate them to heal or change. And trust me, there is nothing that you could do for the narc to get them to change. In case you're thinking that, well, maybe I need to love them more. Maybe I need to forgive more. Maybe I need to be... The answer to their prayer, no, 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 no. There is nothing you can do to get them to where they need to be. There's nothing, like, there's nothing anyone can do to get anybody else to where they need to be. It's all on them individually. This is why I do Monday Motivation. This is why I journal. This is why I look to be, uh, you know, work with others and be accountable with others because... The reality is, uh, you know, 
I can't tell anybody how to live their life, right? And I'm not going to look to heal anybody. I'm not going to look to be the fix for anybody. I don't want to be the fix for anybody. And you shouldn't want to be the fix for anybody. And you shouldn't want anyone to be the fix for you. That work's got to come from you and you only. Whenever you put your health in someone else's hands, mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, you are guaranteeing yourself for failure, for setup. You're guaranteeing yourself for a nice, big, fat fall. Because you got to understand something. Everyone, no one is perfect. Everyone is fallible. And that's just too great of a burden to bear. Okay? You come into someone's life and you wanted to help them get off whatever it is. Maybe get them off drinking, get them off drugs, get them out of their, you know, their slump. You can't do that. Same thing with expecting someone to motivate you to get out of your slump or get off your gaming habit or get off your drinking or whatever. Nah, 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 nah. It's not on them. It isn't, it, it, it's on you. The motivation has to come from you. So with that being said, don't look to anybody to heal you. Don't look to be the healer of anybody else. Just focus on you. Focus on your life. You're going to do great. You're going to come out of this on the other end. I'm I'm certain that whatever pain you're going through, I'm certain that whatever nonsense this narc ex did to you, whether you're a man or woman, I'm certain you'll grow from it. You'll be great. You're going to do great. You're going to be great. And you're going to make, you're going to inspire others to be great. All right. In life, you're either going through it or growing through it. I mean, yeah, life, you're either going through it or growing through it. Y'all need to grow, just like me. Have a good one, y'all. Stay blessed.